Hey everyone, I'm Exit Sign 250 and today we're going to be troubleshooting and repairing this GFCI. So what's wrong with it? Well, it functions as you can see and obviously it has power to it and other outlets that are connected to it also function and trip the GFCI. But here's the problem. When I plug my GFCI tester into it and hit the test button, nothing happens. Now this may seem like a defective GFCI, however I have a hunch of what it is. More than likely, the line and load outputs of this GFCI are reversed. The line is where the input of power comes in and then the load is the output and would go to other outlets that are connected and it would be provided with the GFCI's protection. So what I'm going to be doing is shutting off the power, removing the outlet, flipping the wires, putting it back in and it should be good to go. At the breaker, we're going to go ahead and shut it off and I believe it is number 10. Now that we know the power is off, we can go ahead and begin the repair by removing the outlet's faceplate. And now we can remove the GFCI from the wall or the back box. One more double check on the inside, make sure nothing's gonna shock us. Go ahead and remove the hot switch on the back and remove neutrals. I've determined that this is the line and this is the load, so let's connect them. So we'll go ahead and start with the hot on the line. Now do the neutral. And finally the load wires. Stick the hot load in, flip it around, stick neutral in, tighten it, and now I think we're set. Now I'm going to reinsert the mounting screws and put the cover back on. Well, it's back on. Let's go ahead and plug in the tester. See we have power. Test it here, it works. Now, big test. Here we go. Hey, it works. There you go. So that was a easy repair of a GFCI. Kind of common problem if you have DIY people in your house that uh, just, you know, maybe don't know so much about electricity. So that was a repair and troubleshooting of a GFCI. And I guess the culprit was line and load miswire. That's what I figured it would be. Thank you so much for watching. And I guess I'll see you in another one. Thank you.